So welcome back to England 360. And as you've probably gathered, we're out on Big Ross's sub because he's promised me a big perch. And it looks like we've got one. <laughs> Holy bejesus. Nice. Oh, fucking magic. My first perch for my boat. <laughs> The rod was actually sitting, I was actually sitting in my rod, jigging with the wee Ned rig there. <laughs> and it fucking buckled over. A couple of pictures, Ross, we'll get them back. Alright, nice one. Yeah, I'm using them on them. Yeah, so we're fishing in an 8 to 12 feet of water. Fishing creature baits, lobworms, static on the bottom. And it seems to be working. It's a small one. I know. Look at the belly on it. Yeah. Still a something. Full of nonsense. <laughs> there we go. So what's this loch renowned for, big fella? You keep telling me it's renowned for? Big perch. Big perch. Had a few already, so. Been hiking up the garden for the bit, what, three years? <laughs> Two, three years, so. I was worried I may be over hiked, but. Uh, so far, so far. So far, so good, my man. Put that fucking cracker. Has it? Yep. Went on it. Keeps your weights going. <laughs> Bass fucking street <laughs> <laughs> You can try and get a picture of this with a lure store and it's well stored, that'd be cool. I've seen some uh, Mollocks creature baits and anglers out the other day. Right fancy them, so got one of them on. Never used a cre well, used some creature baits before, but never uh, one quite the size of this one. And uh, second chuck, boom, into that. <laughs> So we've been fishing the drop shot mainly. Ross has tried some creature baits with some success. But what I've noticed is the static worm has produced a couple of decent fish. So now that I've got the camera pointing on this static rod, you can pretty much guarantee nothing's going to happen. I'll leave it a few minutes to see if we can get a bite on camera. I can't get green bites. I know, fucking daft bream. Constantly knocks, but nothing solid. It's crazy how much that wind's swinging us. That's us in five feet of water now, and we're in 13, literally two seconds ago. Let's see that, man. <laughs> Typical, isn't it? Yeah. Camera shy. As soon as you put the phone away, it's not going to buckle over, isn't it? <laughs> Guaranteed, isn't it? Throw the tackle tarts. What's your set up, Ross? Um, so, this is my favourite wee set up. It's a Vanford 3000. 
probably. I'm still slightly too big for the rod, but um, Banfords are expensive, so I'll just rock the one for now. And then it's a <laughs> Elmab, La Mystique, a 1 to 7 gram, ultra light spinning, but it's purely a drop shot rod for me. A pound of braid that. It's at about 18 pound Sakura braid on that, and then about 3 feet of 10 pound fluoro. And then drop shot hook and a wee 10 gram weight. And a big minging Canadian <laughs> lobworm. <laughs> Aye, the lighter the rod, the better for the perch. They all feel massive on this rod. Here we go, there's a couple of bites for the looks yet. Is it? That's a bream, isn't it? That They're bream bites. Just stupid wee pointless knocks. Uh, I'm going to go and deal with that. We'll be back later with a perch. <laughs> <laughs> Big man's into a fish. Look, look at the line. <laughs> right, I better make some adjustments here. You got manager, let me get up. Oh, look at that. <laughs> look at that. These perch fighter. Sure do. Look, look at that, that one. It's like a pike. If we weren't fishing where we were fishing, we'd think that was a pike. Oh, might be a three pounder. Maybe? Nah. Two and a half? Yeah, yeah, I'd say two and a half. Right, let's get the deeds done. Well done, big fella. Cheers, my man. Static fished drop shot lobworm once again. Just chucking out over a drop and pretty much sitting it right below the boat. And uh, aye, as you've seen in that video, this guy went like absolute shit. But um, <laughs> it's not even that big. Thought I thought it was a three pounder, but it's maybe two and a half ish, I would say. But, aye. Beautiful. Got very red fins down here as opposed to Lomond. They're very orange. Totally different looking fish, aren't they? Can I cut a poise? Ah, let's get a couple of pictures just like that. Yeah, we'll back. Stick it back. So we've fished maybe what, a couple of hours, Gordon? Yep. And the winds get up, it's get really quite smelly. Um, but we've had some quality fish, haven't we? What, six fish, what, two pound and above, would you say that's Still fair? Still not the three, Eesh. you promised me, but... Still not the three, but we're two hours in, so... I'm confident, mate. I think it'll happen. Three plus is the target. Um, but I thought we'd go through the boat quickly. Uh, it's a new, new boat for me. Used to fish the kayak, but uh, found logistically kayaks a bit difficult with uh, lifting them and storing them and all that so still got the kayak still intend to keep the kayak but um this craft here means that big gordon can come out and various other people can come out and join the party so 3.6 meter boat world um inflatable deck kind of wasn't sure whether to go for the aluminium deck which a lot of dudes suggested to me but um it was all about the ease and yeah, just been able to set it up dead quick and go. I heard the metal floors are a bit of a nightmare. So went for the inflatable deck and then first venture out, a perch managed to put a hole in it. <laughs> Hence the rubber matting. But to be fair, that's made a world of difference. It's still not that comfortable to stand up on, but comfortable enough, certainly comfy enough to sit. So we've got the anchor all set up. Notice the spelling of the boy. Check that's, check that's it. Uh, there's no H in there. It's <laughs> a key key feature. <laughs> uh, fish finder set up the back, transducer mount, six horsepower Mercury engine. Um, I did want a bigger engine, but bigger engines are bloody heavy. So I think that's 27 kilos, I think. There's a 10 horsepower, is about 47, so near enough double the weight. But gets us a bit. Gets us far enough. Can't have done the job today, anyway. Absolutely. 
So yeah, what else can I show you? Genius idea from my pal Richard hiding away in here. The bean can wait. It stops the front sliding a bit so much. This is actually its first venture out, so finding it pretty helpful though. Um, hi. Don't really know what else to what else to say. You get any questions, Gordon? Any comments? Any suggestions? For aye. A any way of any way we can improve the setup of the sub. Um, There's always some expert out there. Absolutely. <laughs> Not always positive. But <laughs> <laughs> um, right, but I am a float again. Absolutely. Get a float and get an R three pounder. Three pounder out there. Hundreds of What's your PB from here? Four pound. Well, just grams above or grams below four pound. Amazingly. I'm guessing you're going to send me a picture or something like this. I will do, mate. Aye. <laughs> right, let's go get another one. Let's do it. Oh, that's done as my wedge. Yeah. I felt a decent fish too. It was. That was a full ranger. Aye, that wedge is broken. Why does it mean losing fish? That did feel as if as it was coming up the ledge, yeah, it's caught. I've seen it, you can see the way the, the rod move. Looks like your drop shot weight's just caught in something that's just the hook it. Right, let's not try and lose this one, Gordon. I don't think it's that big, but they just they fight like absolute nuts. Yeah. Oh, hi. Nation? It's a nation. Wait, <laughs> 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 that's a fucking. That's fish of the day. <laughs> Possibly. Oh, cheers, mate. Oh. Right. Didn't be alarm off. So, the big fella be that. Garmin fish finder, he's actually pretty good. Stumbled across this quite close to the bank, it's a really, really steep drop off. Big fella's like, I will definitely get fish here, and, and he was in the ring. I've had it up higher so my daft thighs don't get in the road. <laughs> <laughs> One thing about this fish, it's very washed out looking. Yeah, really washed out, isn't it? Almost white. And that was a double lob worm that took. Beauty. Get them back, there's definitely a bigger out there. So after a bit of roaming about, a bit of exploring, finding, take my glasses off. Um, so after a bit of exploring, bit of cutting about, bit of exploring new areas, back to where we started and almost straight away into fish of the day near enough. Just a shade under three pound. A proper one. See if I get that out of Lomond, I would be doing handstands right now. <laughs> oh, lovely fish. Dead long. Size of the mouth. I know. I thought it. I've seen a few crayfish in its time, eh? Hey, pop them in the net and we'll get a forty for you. Cool. So we've been playing about with these. But I bought these for here actually, but uh 10 minutes of chucking, nothing, so we're moving back onto the confidence baits, which, let's take the 
that line up my mouth. Confidence bait. Confidence bait. And I ah, they're a bit my other colours are the ticklers there, but I tend to find green the best. And then this one, which is a Molex Freaky Craw. Seen them in the Anglin Centre the other day and thought that's got to work. And right enough, it did. It did, it did earlier. Two chucks in, then I was chucking it for another 40 minutes and nothing happened. So. I recognise that label for some now. <laughs> <laughs> Aye, they're in there somewhere, but um, haven't they produced as well as they did for me last year? So, In fact, I should actually get one of them on. But no, confidence lure for now. Work my way through the box. Seeing what works, seeing what does not. I tend to find down here though that kind of fish shaped baits like that don't really work in this particular lock. Well, they might do, but they don't work for me. Um, I like my crawfish stuff and my TRDs and that kind of thing. I was very surprised at them not working actually. I thought they were going to slay. I've been sitting on my bloody shelf for three months or something, ready for this trip, and have they worked? Never mind. Just setting this up on a Texas rig. The water is pretty dark and pretty murky, so I'm going with the more colourful of the two options I have. Like your tag end drop in the water, and a wee sliding bead, so a wee float stop there, just like that, down just to lock it all in place. That's it. Ready for a four pounder, we hope. Proper, you know. Yeah. Think that I mean, you think they're massive, but when they come up, they put make such a good fight. I uh, counted themselves. Sorry. Three. Get out of there. <laughs> well, we weighed it. Still quite made the three pounds, two and a half. Been resting it in the net whilst we get ourselves sorted. It's one thing we've mentioned before about resting fish after you've had a good fight like that. It is always worthwhile to rest in the net first, then do what you need to do. And then if you're taking a picture whilst you're sorting the cameras, get them in the net, and then when you're ready, Bring them out, they're nice and lively, which makes it all that bloody bit harder to hold them. Lovely. Oh, lovely jubbly. You're not getting my big sexy thighs in, are you? Oh, man. <laughs> You're safe. Rather the viewers are The viewers are safe. Aye, so £2.08. As Rush <laughs> quite kindly stated there, that is officially a PB perch for me. Well done, man. Right, couple of forties, we'll get them back. Nice. Well done.